Grinding your own meat gives you more control of the flavor, knowing exactly what cut it is that you're getting. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to grind your own meat and make a delicious comfort food perfect for the fall, a spicy ancho chili. Hey guys, I'm Shereen with Cook This. First to get started, so I have my beef, which happens to be steak, so this isn't just any old regular chili. We are heightening this and making it gourmet. So I have two pounds of flat iron steak, which is ideal for this chili because it is a chuck, and a chuck has tough connective tissues, which once we put it into the oven and finish the cooking, those tissues just break down and make this meat super succulent and really tender. So this is how easy this is. So I do have a meat grinder. I'm just gonna slice these into one inch long strips. If you don't have a meat grinder, you can totally do this in a food processor. All you're gonna do is dice the meat and then just put it into your food processor and then pulse it a few times and you'll see it comes together really quickly, maybe about 15, 18 times on the food processor and then you get that same texture as ground beef. But we're gonna even do it a lot easier with my grinder here. So the attachment on the KitchenAid works perfect. It comes together so quickly. And now, I mean, I grind everything from my hamburgers to my chili. It's awesome. So all of our meat is prepped, ready to go. Now I'm just gonna turn on the grinder and then push it through. How easy was that, right? Now we have our own ground steak, not even ground beef, ground steak. So I'm just gonna clean up my mixer and now we're just gonna prep the onions and garlic. All right, now it's time to get cooking. First we're gonna saute the onions and then add the garlic. So this is all about working in layers and stages and seasoning along the way. It builds the perfect, delicious tasting chili. Salt and pepper. Again, layering, seasoning through each stage. While the onions are sauteing, so I have one can of whole tomatoes. So these are fire roasted tomatoes. So they have more flavor, a slight smokiness to them, and they really build great flavor. And then I'm also gonna add one can of crushed tomatoes. Again, fire roasted. But I like the texture of the whole tomatoes. But you just wanna take your hands, get in there, nice clean hands, best tools in the kitchen. Get in there and just crush up the tomatoes. So it gives it a nice rustic feel and I just love that texture in there. Onions are nice and tender. Now it's time for the garlic. We have a lot of garlic here, but once you saute garlic, it gets really, really sweet. So we have about six cloves, so it needs about 30 seconds to about a minute. Once you smell your garlic, you know it's released all of its flavor. You won't have a harsh garlic flavor, you'll just have this beautiful flavor. Mmm, garlic smells good. All right, now it's time for our ground steak. Look at that, isn't she beautiful? I mean, come on, we did that, and it wasn't that difficult. So you just wanna add the beef or the steak, and now we're just gonna let it saute, increase our heat to high. We want a good browning. We do have a lot of meat in here. It can tend to steam. So we're gonna season it at the end because we don't wanna draw out any more additional moisture. All right, so I drained off some of that liquid. That way, that way we can get a good browning on our beef, or on our steak. I can't call it beef, right? We got some steak in here. 
All right, it is looking good. It smells great. Now it's time to season it with salt and pepper. So the reason why we waited and I didn't season it with salt from the start is because it would really pull out a lot more moisture. So I was just trying to control that a bit. So salt, freshly ground black pepper, and our spices. So we have quite a few spices. I have a lot of spices. So where the ancho chili is coming in, I have a good bit of ground ancho chili, some cumin, paprika, and chili powder. And then for our little heat, so I have sneak heat from cayenne. I call it sneak heat because it's that back heat. It kind of hits you in the back of your tongue. And then some red pepper flakes. So the ancho chili isn't really all that spicy. It just gives a great, great flavor. But we get that spice from the red pepper flakes and from the cayenne. So now we just want to toast this, evenly coat all of our steak, our ground steak. Make sure it gets nice and toasted, releases all of the flavor. And then we're going to add our beans and our tomatoes. Mmm, smells so good. So I have two cans of little, they're actually the smaller red beans. I drain them, rinse them, right into the pot they go. I have our one can of crushed tomatoes, so these are the fire roasted tomatoes. And our whole tomatoes that we crushed with our hands earlier. In they go. Clean up my area. Now we just want to give it a stir, season it with salt and pepper, bring it to a boil, and then we're going to put a lid on it. Finish it into the oven at 325 degrees until that steak gets super tender. It's going to cook, break down those connective tissues, and become so juicy. About an hour, hour 20 minutes, hour and a half. So she comes to a boil really quickly. We're going to cut the heat, put a lid on it, and into the oven she goes. Our spicy ancho chili is ready. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes in the oven. Oh, look at that. Yum. It looks beautiful. This is great on a Sunday. This is really great on Halloween night. So think about it. It's your one pot awesome comfort dish. Make this ahead earlier and then that way on Halloween night when you're out with your kids or you have that rotating door constantly of people coming in and out, this is a great dish to just have on the stove and let everybody help themselves. So we got to give it a taste. So I like to dress mine, well this one, actually a little more simpler. Simpler, is that a word? <laughs> a little more simply. So we have some freshly squeezed lime. Cilantro, I love cilantro. You could really dress it any way you like. You could add some cheese, little sour cream. I like to keep this one rather simple. After all, the steak is the star. Hmm, so flavorful. That steak is so tender, so succulent, so juicy, yum. You're gonna love this one pot comfort chili. For this recipe, go to the newspaper's website and visit me on Facebook and Twitter for more culinary tips. I'm Shereen with Cook This. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.